Hey guys, Smelly Josh here, and if you're like me, you've already spent like 10, 20, 30, 40, 600, I mean dollars. Who's counting? I mean, I'm not counting, right? But is are these instances really helping out? Like, am I wasting my money? I had to get to the bottom of this. I, uh, I devised the plan. <laughs> we did some science, okay? We did some science. I had to figure out how much these instances are really helping, and if I could do without them, if I could save I don't know, my entire bank account maybe. Anyways, I've got some tests for you guys, so let's jump right into those tests and see what's up. Okay, so in the first test, I wanted to see what the instance does by itself, right? So in my house, I never catch Pokemon. I can have Pokemon Go open for hours and hours and nothing ever happens. So it's the perfect place to test out the instance to see what happens, right? So, I'm running the instance on the right side of the screen, you can see me catching the Pokemon. In the middle of the screen, you see me just sitting there, doing nothing, being lazy in my house. At the end of the video, you will see that I caught six Pokemon in my house with an instance on, when normally, I would have caught zero. Okay, now we'll talk about these numbers at the end of the video. I just wanted to show you this, and now we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay guys, on to test number two. So we are walking around my neighborhood. On the left side, you will see me walking with an incense, and on the right side, I do not. Now, this test we are comparing the incense and not incense again, but while walking instead of standing still. For this test, I walk the exact same path in my neighborhood for 30 minutes each. At the end of the clip, you will see the results come to 19 captured Pokemon with the incense and 14 for the non-incense. So basically five more. This number is only one off from test one, where I got six Pokemon. So those numbers look pretty good, pretty similar. Well, let's put these numbers down for now and move on to the next test. Okay, last test. Now I have seen this question a lot. Do lure modules and incense stack? Is it effective? Well, here in this test, on the right side of the screen, we have a lure module, and on the left side of the screen, we have a lure module plus an incense. Now, unfortunately, for the lure module plus incense combo, Pokemon Go went down, and I only had five minutes left in my test. But I think it is very safe to say we can add one more catch, possibly even two for uh, the lure module plus incense combo. But I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm gonna let you guys finish the video and watch the results for yourself. All right, boys, let's look at the results here. But first, just understand that this is for fun. I'm not saying these numbers are magic numbers or are gonna be true for you or everybody, but I believe they still hold some weight. So don't take it too seriously, but I still think there's a little bit of truth. But again, it's just for fun, right? So let's go ahead and just jump into the results. So like I said, in my house, I have never ever caught a Pokemon. I could have Pokemon Go open for hours and hours and zero, nothing. But with the incense on for 30 minutes, I caught six. So I really, really think this shows the power of the incense 
at its best, in the purest form, at its base, you know? I'm comparing it with, you know, nothing else in the way. So, next, while walking with the incense, it provided me with an additional five Pokemon as opposed to walking without it. So this is very similar to the first test. First test six, this test five. Okay, now last. The incense provided me with an extra four or five Pokemon while sitting at a Pokestop with an active lure module. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's safe to say the incense brings in on average an additional five Pokemon for the 30 minute duration? After doing these tests, I actually feel a lot better about not worrying about having an instance activated and saving some money. You can still catch plenty of Pokemon without it. So for everyone out there playing free to play, I hope this makes you feel a lot better. The instance really isn't a game changer. I mean, who cares about an extra five Pidgeys anyways? But again, I can't stress enough that I'm not making claims about these numbers. Uh, but I, like, again, I still think they hold some weight and they give you a really good idea of what's going on That being said, I really hope y'all enjoyed this experiment. Please pass it on to your friends I'm going to be making a ton more Pokemon Go videos. So come back soon or subscribe So you guys stay awesome, and I will see you next time Oh God! Ugh. Just take all of it! <laughs> I need it! <laughs>